Jasper Dettelbert. I don't fall. Unleash the fury. Last gift from Tala. There is an Indian to be damaged when it is in front of him pushes them back. Well, well, the venerable sun child graces us with its presence. Saira, it's good to see you. So, are you ready? The Grandmaster said by tonight Sharim should have deciphered the old maps. I'm ready. <sighs> Alright then, let's wait until nightfall. Go on ahead, I'll follow. Prophetess, there's good news. 
We were able to decipher the Starlings' maps, and we now know where to find the City of a Thousand Floods. Where? Sharon was just about to explain. Sharon? Yes. I suppose you already know that Vin hasn't always been like it is now. In the time of the Pyrians, it was one big continent, which they called Pangora. Only the Starfall in the era of Azataron's madness split it apart. In other words, the Pyrians dominated the entire world as it was back then. It was a world empire. However, until recently, we always thought that the Empire's capital, the City of a Thousand Floods, was situated somewhere near where Kira is today. We were wrong about that. It was here, in Endoral. Here? Here, beneath our feet, to be precise. Under Ark? Oh my. Yes. We don't know whether it was a coincidence that Malfa's vassals set the foundation of Ark here out of all the places they could have. But they did. The heart of the Pyrian Empire was here, right where we stand. Only it's buried now. But there was beneath into the tunnels. How come no one ever found it? Hardly. Sadly, the Order never cared much for archaeology. We considered it a useless endeavor. And even if there had been private undertakings, the dangers such an expedition posed, let alone its costs, would have scared off most investors. But still, you're right. If the Order would have bothered, we could have saved ourselves a lot of trouble. However, it doesn't matter now. What matters is we now know where the last cleansing took place, and that it's somewhere we can reach. So we need to get down there. But how? It would take years to dig that deep. True. But there might be another way. Do you know the myth of the Black Guardian? The Andralians believe that there is some kind of demon deep down below the surface, and that you can even hear him scream if you just listen carefully. Rubbish, of course. But I think that these screams are the sound of wind. And if there's wind... There are tunnels. So are you suggesting that the Undercity's cavern reaches that deep? Into the City of Floods? Into what is left of it. All we need to do is find an entrance point that can lead us down. Then we leave without further delay. There's no point in leading an army down there, so the four of us will go alone. Prophetess, speak to the Archmagister and tell him to give you the word of the dead and the container for the Nominaus. We will need both. He's at the beacon. Shouldn't we at least think this through before we go? We... Ready your equipment. We'll meet at the gate to the Undercity. Again in the Undercity. Down, please. The heart of the Pyrian Empire right below our feet. Unbelievable. You should go and talk to the Archmagister. I'll wait for you at the Undercity. Yes. I'm going immediately. Magister. I was done as here. Uh, he was. But he went to get something. Why don't you wait until he comes back? I... Uh, I have to admit that it's a great honor to finally meet you in person. You know, when all this started, when the Grand Master exalted you, I thought it was a sin. Granting an Outlander what we have to fight so hard for. But now... Phew! <laughs> I think Malthus, or whoever sent you that he did... We owe you a lot. Really. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. Say... Uh, 
May I ask you something? What? It. The beacon. Do you really think it'll work? I mean, I'm just a novice, but... If it can really banish the High Ones, how can the Pyrenees couldn't save themselves? I just don't understand. It will work, trust me. Hmm. If you say so. You know, I lost someone not too long ago. It was the Naramese, under the command of that butcher Korok. My family has a small farm near the coast, and when the first of the Naramese ships landed, I immediately rode to them, to get them into the city, into safety. What happened? I... I'm sorry. This isn't easy. Our farm. It's on a small cliff near the farmer's coast. Just a few miles from Ark. I already had a bad feeling when I set out. And then I saw the smoke. And then there was that... smell. And... <laughs> What's the matter? The smell of burnt meat. It was everywhere. I rode faster and faster, and then, when I got to the house, I saw that it was on fire, and that someone had put up three crosses, and they were burning too. Three crosses? My mother, my father, and my sister, they... They were still alive, you know? And I... I just stood there. And there was nothing I could do. Do you understand? Nothing. And it doesn't matter how I try to look at it. It all amounts to one thing. I was too weak. I was too late, and I was too weak. That wouldn't have happened to you, would it? You would have done something. You would have saved them. Just as you'll save us. If I could just be more like you, then I... Your flesh. Yes, that's it. All I need is a piece of your flesh. And nothing like that will ever happen again. Stay where you are. But why? Is that so hard to understand? I don't want much, just a small piece of it. But you just don't want to share, isn't that it? You want it all for yourself. Because you're vain. And in all your damn vanity, you don't even see the futility of the whole thing. The beacon won't burn. It never will. Thousands have tried it before you. Thousands who are as arrogant as you are. And they all failed. How did they say? Just let yourself fall. Because the light will burn. It will devour you. Until there's nothing left. Nothing but burnt flesh. Nice and crisp. You're familiar with that, aren't you? Prophetess. Prophetess. We need to stop them. Sun. They... they were possessed. But how is that possible? I thought the Sigil Stone protects us. Obviously doesn't. What about the beacon? How bad does it damage it? Oh, of course. Wait. Who? The 
the damage is within acceptable limits. Nothing we shouldn't be able to repair. But wait, what is that noise? What in blazes happened here? And what is that noise? The Nerenese. They are in the city. The, their entire army. What? No. This is impossible. This is impossible! And this? What's the meaning of this bloodbath? I, I don't know, Grandmaster. The High Ones somehow were able to possess the Keepers here. They tried to destroy the beacon and kill the prodigy. What? But the stone, we... Grandmaster, you... you have to see this. What? That the Narimis are in the city? I know that already. No, we... we know how they did it. The true Chessa betrayed us. It's the truth. She and almost a third of the Keepers followed Bartar's example. Come, you should hear it for yourself. I ordered that the temple gates be closed right away. At least for now, none of these Naramese bastards will enter the temple. Well done. There. She survived it. Open your eyes, traitor. What? Oh, hi. Good master. I'm so sorry. It shouldn't have happened like that. Please. Oh, my mouth is... What have I done? Tell us what happened. Of course, Grandmaster. I will. The <laughs> Trichessa. She... She contacted Korak and asked for... Relax. She's bleeding to death, Grandmaster. We need to get her into the Curarium. We will, once we're done. Continue. The Tuchessa arranged a meeting with Kori. What did she want from him? A truce. She offered him the city. If he would promise not to harm anyone. She had this... This stone. You know, the Sigil Stone that protects us keepers from the High Ones. Korak, he agreed. Once the gates were open, he... he killed everyone. Yes, the Trichessa, he just... Even though she kept her end of the bargain. Then they swarmed into the city and... Oh, but Malphus, I... I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Take her to the Curarium. Yes, yes, of course, Grandmaster. Lerum, get her, bring me a stretcher. Wait. You... You have to forgive me. I mean, I... We only wanted the best. You have to believe me. Please don't let me die as a pathless. I... Please. <laughs> I... Forgive you. Now go. Yes. Yes, of course, Grandmaster. What are your orders, Grandmaster? We aren't many, but if we use cunning, we might be able to drive them back out of... We will not. We are no more than five dozen up here, and the Narimis are thousands. And both our black powder and our boiling oil are in the barracks. Then it's over. We've lost. What? No! Nothing is over! They can't be that far into the city yet. 
We only have to drive them out of the gates, and then... And how exactly are you planning to do that? By loading the cannons with sugar mint and shooting bowls of herbs at the Naramese? Great idea, really. You sodding! Quiet! Naragil and Sharim are right, Commander. Ark is lost. But our war against the High Ones isn't. The beacon still stands, and it will continue to do so as long as we hold the temple. We've lost the battle, yes, but not the war. All we need is the Numinars, and then the beacon will be lit. And what then? I don't think Korak will withdraw once we've destroyed his vision of this ascent. Correct, he won't. Which is why we will surrender. What? It is the only way. As I said to the Chichessa before, this war is about more than just us. If we choose to give up now, or if we choose to fight and die down there, Korek will destroy the beacon either way and let the cleansing happen. We will prevent that at all costs. Which is why we will find the Numenars, light the beacon, and then surrender. But Korek will kill us all. Yes, he will. We will die, but there is no alternative. Kurek isn't man enough to participate in the battle himself. So even if we were to break out and fight, all we would do is kill his delusional soldiers. And their deaths would be as pointless as this entire war. Once the High Ones are vanquished, we've done our duty. That's it. But no! We are warriors, and true warriors fight! You've said that! warriors ask questions. Like the question, when does a battle for ideals become nothing more than a battle for vanity? Those soldiers down there, Commander, they are nothing more than butchers. But we, we are more than that. But I will not stop you. As soon as the beacon is lit, you are free to flee. But for now, you will hold this place at all costs while we search for the Numenars. Arch Majesty, do you have the word of the dead? I do, yes. But how do you plan to get into the Undercity from here? The entire city is swarming with Korax's soldiers. Leave that to me. Commander Aaron, gather the remaining keepers and arcanists. I will address them. You all know what has happened. We were betrayed by our own brothers and sisters. As we speak, people are dying, slaughtered by the Nerimis, who think we are their enemy. And I know what you are feeling right now. Anger. Anger aimed at those in our ranks who did this to us. But you're wrong. Despite their deed, they wanted to protect us, to fulfill their holy duty. And the same applies to Korek and his soldiers. Yes, they are deluded. Yes, they have committed crimes past redemption, but they too only did what they thought was right. If there is someone to blame in all this, it's the High Ones and no one else. They, brothers and sisters, they are the ones responsible. They have no mind, no compassion, no soul, and their only reason for existing is to destroy. They are cowards who act out of the shadows and play us against each other like puppets on strings. And right now, they think they have won. They think they can defeat us. But they will fail. 
because we are still here. We have the beacon, the only thing capable of stopping all this madness, and that is exactly what we're going to do. After that, you are free to go. Flee, fight, do whatever you think is best. I myself will surrender, because every drop of blood spilled after we have done our duty and destroyed the High Ones is useless. And even if the Neremes kill me, my death will be a sign. A sign that people like Koarek will never understand. Hatred breeds hatred. This is what history has taught us, and this is what makes the High Ones strong. Stand by me when the time comes, or go. But until then, fight! Yes. And there she goes. Four thousand years this city has stood. And now she is a flame. It is a tragedy. We told the others that we're going to find the Numinus. But how? Are you planning to get in the other city? With the Neremis in the streets? There is another way. I suppose you already know that the Order was never proud of the fact that something like the Undercity exists. And due to your dealings with the Relata, you also know that we, the Order, had an informal agreement with them. They rule the underground and we rule the surface. In reality, however, this is only half the truth. We never handed over the reins entirely. There is a plan B in case things get out of control and the Undercity's inhabitants revolt, like they did once during the Blood Moon riots. I have an idea what that might mean. Probably. I will make it short. There's a set of tunnels throughout the King's Mountain on which this temple was built, and they lead all the way down into the Undercity. They were built to release poison gas into the entire cave system. In other words, if in the Undercity were to revolt again, you would have simply killed them all. It would have been an option. With the gates to the surface barred, no one would have survived. Let me guess. Your plan is to use these tunnels to sneak down into the Undercity. Down and back up again, yes. The Nerimis do not know about these tunnels, and when they find out, it will be too late. We descend, we find the Numinos in the City of Floods, and we light the beacon. After that, you know what I will do. There is a way into the tunnels through the dungeons of this temple. Meet me and Sharim there once you're ready to depart. And bring your beloved with you. Prepare yourself. We will meet in the dungeon.
hope to be with my beloved until the end. <laughs>